You are now tuned in to Atlanta's hottest radio show. Our stories from our studio to your ears. It's the Beyond Swanky Podcast. With your host, Kenny Lucas. On Swanky 93.3 Radio Station. The Heat 94.6 Radio Station. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another exciting podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, this is the Beyond Swanky Podcast. Of course, this is a show where we give you guys extra content, extra podcasting without the camera part of the show, um, simply because we have our musics that come in for the podcast. So hopefully you enjoy the first song that we played here on the radio show today. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to a lot of people out there that's listening live right now on the radio uh, stations. And I do mean of Spotify, our heard radio, Google. Uh, well, actually, Spotify uh, podcast is the only uh, way that this show comes out. I mix my shows there, T, because this show has music, you know. So hopefully for all my Spotify uh, listeners, hopefully you guys are ready for another exciting podcast. We got some music behind it. Of course, it's the New Year, guys. It's January 1st, 2023 had a great day today we've got some topics i've got a serious topic now like i say this is a show where you know we have our topics but you know we we, we get a little serious with this with this type of show we've had many uh episodes with, with coco in the building uh, coco is going to be coming back to this show uh obviously it's new year's day so he's spending time with his folks on new year's uh day he's taking some time off for the holiday i don't blame him um but very very excited for today's podcast because we have so much that we have to talk about here today's on today's podcast the beyond swanky podcast of course we've got uh t t's here i'm looking at him right now addison she's here she's listening we don't have a report from her and her and and arthur were here earlier in the studio when we were filmed klp aftermath go check that podcast out um, by the time you're here in this podcast, the episode is not out yet, but of course, the episode radio show, uh, season five, KLP Aftermath comes out tomorrow. So hopefully you guys stay tuned for that as well. And I, I truly hope that everybody had a great Christmas. I know I did. I spent time with my family. I spent time with my folks. A lot of people did ask me, T, you know, what did I do for New Year's, right? I ran into one of my my good friends, Ben Coker, as always, and Anara. Shout out to them. They are also crunch gym goers. I ran into them. They said, hey, how was your New Year's? I said, I did nothing but sleep. I wasn't going out. And there's a reason for that because, you know, I know a lot of people did go out and spend time with friends. Uh, I chose not to because the flu is still in existing. It's cold. COVID is around the corner. And January... It's, it's planning month for January because we're getting ready. If you guys don't know it by now, uh, February, we're going back to New York City. We're filming part two of our hit documentary, Street Style. Homecoming is the name of the title. You guys can watch Street Style and New York Culture on, available right now on Flix West, Amazon Prime Video, and Tubi TV. So excited. So, so excited. Uh, very thankful for for Prime Video because Skipper and Copper Saves the World that is a 2019 film that I did back in obviously 2019 it's coming to Prime Video this later this month for Prime Video so I cannot wait for that as well life is good guys life is so good Um, I I gotta say thank you because this is season 2 of the Beyond Swinky podcast Um, This is a show, like I said, this is a show that we go real, we go hard in, and it's a show that we we get a little serious, we get a little real, right? With KLP Aftermath, that's different because we have topics for that show, but this show is a show where if I got something that I got to say on the podcast, I'm able to say it and premiere some music for y'all as well. So, but before we get to that, we got a sponsor... Of course, today's podcast, the Beyond Swinky Podcast Season 2 premiere, goes out to Sweats Equity Apparel by Grindhouse. Again, shout out to them. They are a Crunch Gym or Crunch, well, Crunch Gym Snailville partner as well. Sweat Equity by Grindhouse is a clothing brand for athletic gear. Of course, they have the official website at Ground 
uh, it's an official uh, brand of Grindhouse S, uh, uh, EST, and they have a website. Here's the website, by the way. It's www.sweatequity. I don't know how to spell that for you guys. It's S W E A T E Q O E Q U I T Y uh dash apparel that's spelled a p p a r e l dot com they have an instagram shop as well they have such a great following i love their apparel they had some christmas apparel they've done some things for crunch snellville uh that is a gem that's the gem that i go to their logo is always fantastic just apparel wear so get your shopping on if you got that new year's resolution as well with fitness i know today's january 1st uh, I always did, and I did a post today, and I said, you know, your, the, what you do on your first day of the year is what you plan on doing for the rest of your life. Of course, I went to Crunch Snailville today. I had my protein shake. I had my 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 apparel on, and I, I was feeling good, right? So if you want to get some great apparel for the year as your new goals for your New Year's resolution is to lose weight and to stay fit, sweat equity apparel is the way to go if you want that good clothing brand when it comes to working out again the sweat equity apparel sweat equity apparel by grindhouse get your shopping on today so that way you guys can look good and look swanky while um working out as well so shout out to them now let's get on to the topic of conversation this is a topic of conversation that i was thinking about all day today i was thinking about customer service now tomorrow's episode klp aftermath season five again that's going to be everywhere our heard radio Pan, uh, pandora google podcast stitcher youtube um i talked about customer service or i will that's on the schedule to talk about customer service and i'm probably going to have a, a good light on tomorrow's episode about customer service right because we all know that it's been freezing the last couple of days um a lot of flights got canceled a lot of flights got um, delayed a lot of people came in to atlanta for holiday season and they gave everybody they gave customer service a lot of spick right they, they gave them a lot of troubling times here is my sort of bad take monica if you will but with respect now this is something that i observed today i observed this at my local publics um to which and I did a post about this, about being thankful for, you know, another seeing another year, right? I'm always going to be thankful about seeing another year. Now, I'm at the age of 26. I will be seeing the year of 27 this year. That is scary to think about, but it's real. We can look old. Not not so old because I'm the I'm very young. 27 is very, well, 26 is very young. I'll become 27 in the May. That's very young. But we're getting up there right in the next four years i'll be 30 and it's kind of scary to think about it and i i try to go with with an open mind of being thankful i did a post today um this was my my post today about being grateful i'm cutting people off right and this is kind of something we have to do with our topic but i'm kind of i'm drifting off here to you a little bit but this is something this this is this, this is the purpose of this podcast i'm cutting certain people off one thing I noticed last year, 2022, we're busy. A lot of people had a lot of schmick to say. Fuck it. A lot of people had a lot of shit to say last year. And we have to, and I guess this is a PSAT, we have to learn to kind of cut the shit off. Right? A lot of people had a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff to say. I'm not going to name any names. I'm not going to name who who did what. This is just what what I observed, observed in 2022, where we're so focused on other people that we're not looking in front of us what we got going on for ourselves. Now, tomorrow's podcast, I, I'm going to talk about me being more focused, and I, I'm going to talk about hashtag building as a hashtag that I've thought of yesterday when i made my post yesterday about happy new years this is the year of focus for me where we've got skipper and copper one of my films coming to prime this month eden prime's coming to amazon prime and other platforms later in the year we've got a new full album shout out dj lupizzi i saw him earlier today shout out to him getting ready for our next full album for him that i'm featured in so 
on grad school you know shout out to my grad school you know it's the year of me staying focused this month triple focus we're planning things for new york i talked to my brother last night and i said okay you know i need to meet with him to do a storyboard he needs to get a comp car comp car for one of our photographers so we're trying to figure out a day so we can go and get his comp car or get some photography done for his comp car right me and my brother we're in his friend we're well our friends we're planning a lot for new york because i'm so excited about new york new york is a trip that we're going to be gone longer right i remember last year i think we were gone for about four days and three nights if i'm not mistaken if i mistake that wrong we didn't go for a full week last year now this is a this this year we're going for a full year because we had the budget to go for a full year so yes it's a lot of planning that's going on with me this year um i've noticed that i need to cut certain things out i'm learning to cut some of the negativity out and we're well, i'm getting to the topic of uh, uh, customer service, right? That happened to me today in public. I, I, I'm, I'm getting there, guys. It's a story. I've learned that I need to cut the neg negative energy out. Whether it's people not happy about what I'm doing, whether it's people talking schmick about other people that really isn't relevant. I had to block certain accounts, right? Because a lot of people they see me whether it's filming whether it's music making producing podcasting a lot of people don't want to see me do that kind of stuff right i have offices and we do things at our, at our offices there are things that i do outside the office that way i'm cutting some things out so that way no one knows what we do everybody knows what i do but no one digs into what i do right because a lot of people don't want to see people be super successful with their side hustle. So I learned to cut some of that out. I've had it to where people tell me things and talk smack about other people that is really irrelevant, right? So it's the year for me that I know, okay, I'm cutting this out. Someone comes up, oh, you wanna hear what, I nope. I wanna hear if you are doing something that's benefiting you. I don't wanna hear what Sally Sue's talking about. Or Jimmy John's talking shit about K.O.P. Kennedy Lucas. I don't want to hear it. Because it doesn't matter. Right? We as human beings, we care so much about what people think of us. And we're not, again, we're not looking ahead. I am not going to say I am the happiest person in the world. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I have struggles. Yes, sometimes I'm depressed. Yes, sometimes I'm sad about something, stressed about something. Yes, definitely. Now, the one thing I do to, to mitigate that and, and, and reduce that is meditating. Whether it's uh, meditating in my house, whether it's going to the gym, whether it's listening to music, whether it's filming, right? These are things that help cope with my stress, my anxiety, my PTSD, to all three of those things I have. It's no secret, guys. I have to take medication to help me sleep. Whether I'm up stressed about something, magnesium. I'm taking magnesium almost every night, right? Because it's helping me sleep, right? I have to meditate sometimes before I go to bed. I have to meditate when I get up in the morning, get ready to start my busy day that I have. The first thing I'm doing is I'm meditating. Tomorrow, the second, we're just doing a radio show. I'm getting up to meditate first. To mitigate the stress so it is the year of me it's the year of building it's the year of stress right i know when i go back to my offices all of them somebody says, hey you want to hear it nope i don't co-workers i gotta make sure i let them know i don't want to hear what sally sue said jimmy john i don't want to hear it how was your holiday is what i want to hear what are you doing this year that's making you successful that's what i want to hear right I, I i just don't have patience i don't have time i don't have i don't have any more room right and for me as a person i have to learn and a lot of people out there in the world has to learn i'm a nice guy right and the one thing i get stuck with is people want to talk about other people or talk about their problems and me being the nice guy i'm just listening right and it's always and sometimes it's good to have somebody to quote unquote vent to 
right? But I'm learning this year that I want to hear the successful venting. What do you want to accomplish this year? What do you want to do this year? My brother's a great prime example for this because he is so excited about New York as well as I am. He's telling me all the things we got to do in New York. He's telling me all the things we got to plan for New York. That conversation I love because my little brother Ryan, producer for the second documentary, creative director for it, he's lightlining a lot of things successfully and positive that he wants to see happen for our documentary. Now, my squad, my Mutsi, Keyshawn, Connor, David, Phil, Jess, Brenda, name of course, everybody, my friend groups, they're telling me all the successful things that they want to accomplish how much money they want to have what do they want to see different they're getting a different job they want to move they're doing some very successful things that's what i want to hear this year all the other people that's in my mind which i'm not going to put them out on blast i'm hearing oh they, such and such beefing with this guy or i'm beefing with this person i don't like this person or this person said something about you that's in a negative i don't want to hear that I even got people that nonchalant, they want to talk about people, but then they try to be slick with it to see my reaction. And I don't react. I said, hey, if this is not positive, and this is something I'm learning this year too. Hey, if this is not positive, I don't want to hear it. Right? I, I don't want to hear it. If it's not positive, I don't want to hear it. Because this year, I've got so much positivity this year. I've got three movies coming out for Prime and other streaming uh, platforms. I'm going on a big trip. I'm having a good year. And hell, I might even get a new car this year. Right? So I want to hear positivity. Right? This year is going to be a year-long year of me hustling in grad school. Because I can let y'all know, 2024 is when I take my capstone. And we all know Capstone is the last class you take before graduating and getting your master's degree. 2020, beginning of the January of 2024, I will start my Capstone. Early next year, I'm going to be done with grad school. Positivity. We have to start positivity this year. Not negativity, positivity. And that's one thing I'm learning myself, guys. I'm learning it. I'm learning positivity. I'm learning that because I'm going to have it this year. Not, not from my family, not from my squad, but other people that, I, that, that are, quote, unquote, in my life just work really. People are going to talk shit about people. People are not going to want you to be successful. And one thing I'm learning, I'm going to say to those people that come, I'm going to say, with respect, if this is not positive, this is not a positive conversation, I don't want to have this. I don't want to have this conversation. I don't. Because I don't have room for it. I don't have room for your negativity. Because I want to be positive this year. Now, with me, when it comes to colleagues, friends, families, I have no beef with nobody. Right? I got no beef. My life is too precious for beef. One thing people are twisted about people are so busy having beef with people that's causing them to have a negative mindset and when you have a negative mindset you're not accomplishing what you need to accomplish because your mind is clouded with negativity that's the reason and another thing T this is a year why I, this is a year where I mind my own goddamn business. Now I've mind my business before. Sometimes I get involved in, in things that I really don't want to be involved in. I have to do a better job this year to say, hey, this has nothing to do with me. So I'ma see my way out of this, this conversation. What does gotta do with KOB Entertainment? What does gotta do with Kennedy Lucas and Associates? What does gotta do with Swanky Studios? or all my subsidiary studios. What does this have to do with Kennedy Lucas Patterson? Because if it's not Kennedy Lucas Patterson, it's gonna see his way out of this, this conversation. And that's something we've, we've got to learn. Now, the purpose of this story, before we get to our music, our next music for the podcast tonight, um, negativity is in the, in the air. I went to Publix 
And this is where customer service had negative energy. Um, I don't know if she is having a long day. I got her name, but I'm not going to put her name on the blast because I'm not going to do that because I don't want her to potentially get fired. I don't. Publix shopping is a pleasure where people, hospitality, even though you do not want to be at work, you still got to show up. Hell, I've been to different jobs and different jobs come with different stress, right? But I show up with the power of positivity because number one, it eats people with negative energy. People with negative energy or negative intents, they see somebody doing some dope shit, it eats them up to I, 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 To this day, I've got people that hate what we're doing. It eats them up and every chance they get, they try to bite at it. But I'm going there, I'm shopping and I got some groceries. Tonight we're having salmon, can't wait. Salmon. Did I pronounce that right, Monica? I think I did. And I'm, I, you know, I'm, just, I'm fresh out the gym. I had some protein shake. I'm just shopping. I'm ready, getting ready for this podcast tonight. Cashier. I said, hey, I like, hey, how you doing? She was cute. She was just not in it. She was like, hey, how you doing? I'm like, what? My mind, I'm like, but well, damn, like I get it, but. I mean, a little smile could do. She she didn't even look me in the eye and didn't smile. I said, "Oh, okay. Well, happy New Year." Trying to good because you got if you got, if anybody knows me, I try to spark up a conversation. I talk too damn much, if you if you will, but I like to spark up that conversation. If I can spark up the conversation to make you smile, that's my goal in life. Everybody I talk to, make you smile, make make your day, right? Because I don't know what you go home to. I don't know if you go home to trauma. I don't know if you go home to success life. I don't know. But it means the world to me when I'm talking to great people, positive people, and they get so excited, number one, of what I'm doing, or if I give them a nice conversation to make them think about the conversation, right? I went to Publix the other day um, to get some stuff. I had a different cashier. She's going back to school she's finishing school uh ggc she goes to ggc and we had a great short simple conversation i said congratulations she smiled we have a nice conversation like a 10 second conversation she checked me out i said congratulations again good luck and i probably made her day i probably did this cashier had today at publix hey how you doing i'm fine Back to my point, T, we have to be thankful, right? Every day, I am thankful that I have my own place, I have my own car. As I'm getting texts, everybody, my family members texting each other because it's New Year's Day. Everybody's saying Happy New Year's. But I have my own things. And I think I'm doing all right for myself at age 26 because a lot of people ain't doing so good at age 26. I'm not under under a bridge. I'm not hungry. I went to the store and got some food. And I, no regrets buying. I didn't have to say, oh, I got to spend money on this. I don't know if I'm going to pay rent now. I don't have to do that. Right? So I'm very thankful for that. And back to my point, what I said earlier, we have to be thankful. And that's the problem with our generation. We're not thankful for anything. We take for granted everything. Some of us do. And it bonkers me so much, Monica, that we do not appreciate nothing. I appreciate everything that I'm doing, that I have, that I will have, things I will be doing in the future. I'm so thankful because in Atlanta, you see homelessness, right? People are hungry. People were very, very hungry this Christmas because it was cold as shit out there this Christmas Eve so some people were freezing to death damn near hungry because they're homeless right our generation we're so prone to having things we don't appreciate nothing right I see a lot of students I'm not going to name the institution but I see a lot of students with these very nice cars and they just say "Eh, it's just a car be appreciative because a lot of people don't have cars I don't have a Tesla Would I like a Tesla? Yeah, sure. But I don't have a Tesla. I have a Ford. I'm very appreciative of my Ford because I worked hard for it. Kids these days, 
their parents buying them Teslas and BMWs and like they don't appreciate that shit. They don't. Because they know if they get into a wreck and total the car, oh, mom and daddy can just buy me another one. I'm fine. But you got people hard working. Nah, if I wreck my car, it's going. it has to be that person's fault to pay for repairs to get a new car. That, that I'm riding everything on that. But this girl at the cashier, hey, you're, you're a cashier and I get it. I'm not going to shit on you for being a cashier. You doing what you got to do. Back then and now, some things I do, I do because I have to. You do what you got to do. I ain't judging. I don't judge people who are cashiers or working at McDonald's because, hell, McDonald's right now, they're paying $21 an hour. Like, I'm not, I'm not shaming you for that. You should be more grateful. Right? And I'm not saying because it's kind of a derogatory kind of when somebody's working somewhere and some people say, people say, oh, you should be thankful that you're here. You should be happy that you're here. And that, that, that's a different situation. But when you have a job, you're making money. Because again, a lot of people got laid off in 2020. People still looking for jobs. Unemployment still high. Because companies lost money in 2020. They can't afford people. That's the number one reason why jobs ain't hiring folks. And it's hard for folks to get jobs. Nowhere. There's a thing called overqualified. Where if you are a doctor and you lost some reason your job as a doctor. You probably won't be able to get a job at McDonald's because you're overqualified. Right? Right? So we, we have to be thankful. We have to be thankful. We have to be grateful. We're, we're thankful that we're, we're living and we're seeing another day. Right? And for all the people out there, stop faking celebrities' death. I didn't agree with Angela Bullet, um, Bullet, Angela Bassett's uh, son when she joked and she uh, joked with, with Angela Bassett saying that Michael B. Jordan dead at 32. Guys, stop joking with that shit. Because that's not funny. That is so not funny. Uh, somebody did to where uh, they made a joke and they said Denzel Washington dead at 67. Stop joking. Because that's not funny. That is so not funny. That I don't know that's a twisted meme. I wish I really wish people don't start that meme because that's not funny. Because life is, life is there. Right? You don't know. So everyone please stop, stop joking about that. I know that's kind of sidetracked, but that's part of me being grateful in life. But people joked about celebrities not just to prank to prank to uh, prank people. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. That's not funny. That is so not funny. That's very cruel, and you don't know what's going to happen to you. So don't don't joke about don't prank somebody, texting or telling somebody that their favorite actor or actresses or director has died as a prank. Don't do that. That's that's so not funny. So we've got more news and we're going to talk about High on Life, the video game coming up next on the Beyond Swingy podcast. But we got some more music to play for you guys. Again, take a look at these tunes and we'll be right back here on the Beyond Swingy podcast. And welcome back to the podcast, the Beyond Swinky podcast with your host, KOP Kennedy Lucas. Of course, this podcast was brought to you by, again, Sweat Equity by Grind House. If you guys want to look swanky while working out, and if you have a New Year's resolution to start heading back to the gym, get swole, lose some weight, and gain some muscle, of course, Sweat Equity by Grind House is your playhouse to where you can go and get your new apparel. Of course, you can follow their Instagram at sweatequity.apparel all one word type that in so that way you can view their website and their instagram shop so that way you can get your shop on for swanky apparel uh, for your fitness of course so shout out to them that sweat equity apparel now of course we've got to talk about this game that i played a couple of days and i gotta say this my christmas break has been filled with gaming streaming if you guys don't know of course we have this our third podcast is called the Swinky Gamers Podcast, to where we we'll give you guys uh, an episode where we play games and you know we stream it for the masses for you guys. And we've played a lot of games this past couple of weeks uh, while being on break. So I dabbled in Game Pass once again because I figured something out. 
Now I do have an Xbox at the house, but I think my Xbox is the day one edition back in this form back in 2013 and is getting old. It shuts off on me when it gets too hot. So I was very upset about this, but I'm like, okay, well, it's just, it's an older console. I play PlayStation 5 now, so it's not a big deal uh, to me, but I've learned that if you got, and I'm sure everybody's going to say, duh, but this is something I, I've learned cloud gaming is something that we've been knowing about but i did not know with my macbook i can play xbox game on my macbook if my controller is connected and it's cloud gaming so um i did not know that i doubled into it again and i was playing on my macbook with my xbox controller for the past couple of days with xbox game pass of course i joined for one dollar um I got the ultimate just to try it out. I don't know if I'm going to continue my subscription because I've got so many other subscriptions and <clears throat> I just don't want to dabble in so much subscriptions because if you guys really think about it. When you have a lot of subscriptions, whether it's Netflix, HBO, a gym membership, uh, HelloFresh, I don't have HelloFresh, but just for an example, if you got so many subscriptions, that stuff adds up every month. So I don't know about keeping Xbox Game Pass again um but i wanted to try it because i needed some games to review for the month of uh, january so we can have things games to review um i reviewed god of war beat it and i reviewed gotham knights and front sonic frontiers and for playstation i'm kind of waiting to the end of this month right 2023 is the year of playstation but you're looking at the end of january you're looking at a game for february and then you're looking for the summertime right so that's many that's like five months from now so i played this one game it's called High on Life. Steam gave it a 9 out of 10. Metacritic gave it a 68. IGN gave it an 8 out of 10. Uh, High, of, High on Life is a comedic first-person shooter game with action-adventure and uh, different elements. It takes place in science fiction world, which features talking guns. And it was created by Justin Rowland and developed and published by Squanch Games. T Is that right? Squanch Games? I probably butchered that. So it came out December 13th of last year, 2022. And it's available only for Windows, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and S. And of course, it is available for Game Pass as well. I played it. And it's so funny. This game is so funny to the point to where it's different. It's a first-person shooter as if you're playing Call of Duty or some sort, or maybe Crossfire. I played Crossfire. That's going to be our next review for the next podcast. But I played High on Life, and I really love the elements. Now, they're the developers and producers from the Rick and Morty show. So, of course, this, move, this, game, movie, this game is quirky. It's funny. You just got to understand the jokes, right? If you don't understand the jokes, you, you might, you might, it might be annoying to some people, but it wasn't annoying to me. I liked the element of it. The graphics was very good. They had the 60 frames per second in the game. So that's always a plus. I think every game should be up to 60 frames per second. I think games that are not 60 frames per second, it's kind of last gen, right? Gotham Knights, Winter, uh, Winter, uh, Warner Brothers, Montreal Games. I'm talking to you because I'm still mad. I'm still waiting for Gotham Knights to be 60 frames per second. Yes, people say you're privileged. I guess so because I want to see 60 frames per second in the game. But anyway, High on Life is so funny, but you got to understand the jokes that these talking guns made it. Of course, you've had so many cast members. Of course, JB Smooth is a cat is a gun in this in this game. Um. It's funny. I got to say, it's so funny because it's just a dynamic way of looking at it. Uh, it's a dynamic way of looking at these talking guns and they're kind of aiding you through when you're shooting the baddies, you're understanding the story. And I have yet to pause the game and unpause it so that way uh, they can cuss me out. Because a lot of people tweeted about it that this game cusses you out if you pause. So it's so funny. They really worked hard on this one. Um, Fresh out of high school with no job and no ambition, you really, uh, you really got nothing going for you until an alien cartel that wants to get high off humanity invades Earth. Now you and a team of talking guns must answer the hero's call and become the deadliest intergalactic bounty hunter the camos, Cosmo excuse me, have ever seen. Of course, rescue and join forces with a troop of mouthly guns and to suit up 
as the uh, galaxy most lethal bounty hunter of course so you're playing you right you can you you have a choice to where it's role playing and I, I really like role playing right because of where you get to if somebody's if you're having dialogue with somebody you have the opportunity to choose your dialogue you have an opportunity to choose your character you have an opportunity to, to kind of upgrade your skill you of course every game now has a skill tree this is a game where you have a skill tree so you're really increasing in, in you really in, in upgrading your character in a way that you're making it more personable with the talking guns with understanding the story so um this was a very good game i played it i haven't beat it yet i'm still playing on it but i really recommend this game if you have and i gotta say uh if you don't have xbox game pass which you should uh if you don't have game pass you just want to buy the game outright this game is worthy of buying the game outright um but it can also be a game to where uh you can play this on game pass whether it's cloud gaming or if you download it uh, on your console so shout out to squash games uh this game was nominated for an award at the game awards i can't i just can't remember what it was um but it's good i want to see more of this uh high on life is 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 funny again you got to understand the jokes though if you don't understand the quirky uh jokes that they make in the game you may not get this game but if you understand okay so if you've seen rick and morty right rick and morty makes all these dramatic quirky maybe immature type jokes but it, it works right if you un if you don't understand the show rick and morty you may not understand this game right because it's the co-creator of rick and morty right so it's good it's very good i've been doing a lot of gaming on game pass it's been one of those things that i've done this christmas break is just game 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 whether it's playstation 5 or xbox i've been gaming this entirely um this entire uh, christmas break so again so excited very very excited for uh the future of things I'm very excited for more to come uh when it comes to game pass again i don't know if i'm going to keep my game pass or not but we'll just have to wait and see so that's going to do it for the Beyond Swanky podcast. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this show tonight. Please remember for my Spotify, because the show is only available for Spotify, share it with your friends. So that way you guys can tune in, listen to the music. Hopefully you enjoyed the music that we played today. And like I say, guys, stay safe, right? Stay extremely safe. It's sick season still. A lot of people are getting the flu. A lot of people are catching COVID. A lot of people are catching the new variant of COVID. So one thing I bought, this is not a sponsor to emergency, but I went to Publix, hence my story today, went to Publix and I bought a big box of emergency powder. And what I do is to boost my immune system so I don't get sick is I mix the immune powder into water or orange juice whatever i'm feeling drink it like normal juice so that way it's in my system to help boost my system my immune system so i don't catch any sickness again it's january we're leaving out next month for new york i cannot afford to be sick so again i recommend everybody either it's, it's powder or vitamins wear a mask when you can stay safe guys because people are still getting sick so that's i just got to recommend that for sure for you guys so that's going to wrap it up here on our podcast please remember to like comment and subscribe um well to my spotify or spotify the heat 94.6 or swanky 93.3 and we'll catch you guys in the next podcast until then i'm your host gail bikini lucas stay safe stay swanky peace you are now tuned in to Atlanta's hottest radio show. Our stories from our studio to your ears. It's the Beyond Swanky Podcast. With your host, Kenny Lucas. On Swanky 93.3 Radio Station. The 94.6 Radio Station.